Hi everyone. In this Unreal Engine tutorial, I will show you how you can play a chosen video from a set of videos. So, for example, if you've got 10 videos or more, and you want to be able to control what video plays at certain points or activations, then I will show you how to do this now. So, to get started, I've created a new folder in my content folder, and I've named this folder Movies. But then, in the same folder, but through the Windows browser, I've moved in some video files. So I'm just going to select these and drag them into the folder now. Now the reason that I moved the video files directly into the folder via the Windows browser was just because if you don't place the source files, the source videos, into this content folder, they won't get packaged inside a game or a simulation or whatever your project is for. So that's just a quick note there. The next step is I'm going to create a media player. So right click in the folder, go to media and then media player. Where it says video output media texture asset, tick that box because we want a texture asset and then click OK. And then the media player that comes up, we're going to call it MP underscore this video player then press enter and it creates that texture as well right click on that texture go up to the top of the menu and click on create material and then call this material or I should say M underscore video so M is for the material double click to open up that material all we need to do here is go to the material domain click on surface and change it to user interface and then in the graph take the RGB from texture sample and plug it into final color and then hit apply and save and that's all we need to do we can turn that off now we've done that we can create a widget as in this tutorial I'll show you how you can load the video full screen right click in the folder again go to user interface and widget blueprint there's only one common option which is user widget to uh, click on that and then name it WB for widget blueprint underscore video and then double click to open it up. In the search palette field in the top left hand side, search for canvas panel, and then just drag that into the design area. We can leave this canvas panel uh, default settings as it is for this. Do another search for image, uh, but this time drag the image into the hierarchy pan panel and place it on top of the canvas panel and it will appear in the top, it will appear, sorry, in the top left hand side. Click on it, and then in its size, you could put 1920 by 1080, which is just full high definition resolution. Beneath, or slightly beneath this size, we've also got an, a field for image. So click on the drop down list there, and search for video, and add in the M underscore video. So this is the material that was just created and hit compile and save finally what we can do here is making sure image is selected in the details panel go to anchors and then select the bottom right option which anchors the content to full screen we don't need to do anything else we don't need to add any code into the graph if you're playing a single video in your level you could add code here but we don't need to do it we'll do it all from the blueprint so it's that simple and we can close this down okay so now let's create the blueprint that we will use to place in the level and will act as a trigger for playing the video right click in the folder go up to blueprint blueprint class click on that and select actor and then call this BP for blueprint underscore video you can call it video player or video either one is fine so double click to open up that blueprint. In the blueprint interface, left hand side, click on add in components panel and search for box collision. We're gonna use a collision box or a box collision to trigger the playing of the video, to trigger the loading of the widget and then the playing of the video. This can be done in other ways, but this is a very simple, straightforward way to do it. So I'm just going to scale this up a bit because it, by default it comes in as a quite small area or volume. And I'm just going to make it a bit bigger just so it's easier to trigger this video. I'm also going to just 
dock this blueprint and just drag the blueprint from the content folder into the level just so I can see its size. That looks fine. I'm going to hit compile and save and I'm going to go to the event graph. We don't need any of these default nodes that get loaded so we can select those and delete them and then hover over the box collision we just added right click and go to add event and then select on component begin overlap so what this node does is when the player character overlaps with this collision box it will execute any following nodes that are connected to this red node here so i'm going to drag off of the top socket which is the white arrow which is the execution pin and I'm going to search for open source and I'm going to untick context sensitive and it's going to need a target so in this case that will be the media player to get the connection to the media player we're going to have to go into variables and then click on the plus button to add a new variable and then call it media player and then where it says boolean click on that and then search for media player and it's media player object reference and you can drag this in and then select get media player and then plug that into the target and that should be fine hit compile make sure that you have selected the media player in this node so with that node selected right hand side details we've got a field with a drop down box at the bottom and we can select the media player that we've just created. If you don't do that, um, this won't work. So the next step now is to actually add an array to plug into the media source. Now, obviously you can just select a single source, but that would only give us one video, but we want multiple videos. So to do that, we can hover over media source, right click and promote it to a variable. I'm just going to disconnect it for now so I'm going to press alt and left click over it with that selected in the details panel click on the drop down and select array and it will give you a warning saying it's going to change its type that's fine because that's what we want it to do so I'm just going to click that and if you get a warning here that says search incomplete the best thing to do is actually not press any of the buttons here just go up to compile and then that gets rid of it. When I've pressed index all, it has caused the editor to crash. So before you do that, hit compile and that'll just remove the warning completely so you don't actually have to do it. So I'm just gonna turn off that panel now and in media source, it won't plug in directly into the open source node because we're going from like a node that has multiple elements into a node that only accepts one element. So to connect them, we just need to drag off of media source and search for get a copy. So it's array get a copy, select that. And now we can plug it in because this node here will get an individual element from the media source array node. This get a copy node does come with an integer value and an integer is just a whole number like one, two, three and we can use this to select a specific video. So if we right click on this and promote it to a variable and then select that node and in its details panel, I'll just rename it to video index. And for both of these, both of the nodes that we've added video index and media source, just make sure you tick on instance editable. So I'm going to do that for media source and I'm going to tick on instance editable. I'm just going to hit compile and save before we go any further. The reason that I've ticked instance editable is so that when we go back into the level editor, we'll have direct access to what video we want to select and also swapping out and adding new videos. So finally, at this point in media source, just select that. And again, in its details, you've got array elements. I'm going to press a plus button here three times because I've got three videos. Obviously, if you have more or less videos, then you'll add the corresponding amount that's required. And in each of these slots, I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to select a video. So I've got busy roads, car in the desert and rally car. 
and for now that is all we need to do there so just to finish off the blueprint we just need to go to open source drag off of there add a delay no to start with and keep it at 0 0.2 the reason that I add this delay is because I have found that when switching between different blueprints or activating different instances of the blueprint of this blueprint there can be a slight flicker of the previous video I think it gets cached before that other video loads so this gives the the blueprint time to load the new video without a sudden flash or a quick flash of the previous video and when you've added that just drag off of completed and search for create widget and in the class select that and search for video and we've got WB video that is the widget we just created so select that one so from the create widget node drag off of that and search for add to viewport and then from the return value drag off of that and plug into target so what we want now is just a way to remove the video from the viewport for that we're going to keep this pretty simple we're just going to click on box right click add event and then on component begin overlap drag off of that and search for remove from parent so when our player leaves the collision box area it will remove the widget and the video from the viewport so drag off from remove from parent and search for close as what can happen is the widget can get removed but the video will keep playing so we want to make sure we close the video as well so you want media player and close make sure you select that one because there's a few close options there for target it's going to be the media player so to save adding another media player node I'm just going to drag off a media player here and plug that into target and for the remove from parent that also needs a target so we can drag off the return value of the widget node or the create widget node and plug it into target it's getting a little bit messy here with the different connection lines going underneath the node so I'm just gonna drag this media player node maybe to there drag these over to here and I'm gonna hover over the connecting line and double click and that adds a reroute node and perhaps I'll do that again here like so that looks a bit better just so it's a bit tidier like so there you go that's nice nice and tidy the final thing we can do here is if your video has sound we can go to the components panel click on add and search for media and search for media sound click on that component and in its details on the right hand side where it says media player make sure to select the video player media player otherwise that won't work so this should work now let's hit compile let's hit save and let's go back into our level so I've already placed this blueprint into the level but what you should have is if we make sure that blueprint is selected and in its details we've got media source and video index and that's because we made them instance editable and they've appeared in our details and if I just click on that it's got these three videos that I added I can click the plus button and add more videos if I want to or I can click the arrow here and actually delete a video if it's not required now where it says video index this corresponds corresponds to a video in the media source list so by default it's set to zero and index zero plays busy roads if I wanted to change it to car in the desert I would change video index to one and so forth so let's just give it a test as it is now I'm just gonna hit play and run over to the blueprint and there you go the video is playing I'm just gonna run out of the collision box and the video stops playing which is great so that's great for one video but let's say you want to add more videos that's very straightforward all we need to do is create an instance of the same blueprint and to do that we can press alt and then just drag this blueprint off and that duplicates it so we're just gonna use a duplicate I'm gonna drag it off maybe over to here so 
final thing I need to do is just go into this details, into this blueprints details, where it says video index and change it to one. So this will play car in the desert. So if I click on the first blueprint, it's still at zero, which is busy roads. Second blueprint is car in the desert. So let's just give that a quick test. That's busy roads. Let's run over here. And there you go, that's car in the desert. So that's it, that covers it. As you can see, it's fairly straightforward. In the blueprint here, if you want to for example when a video plays if you want to disable the player from moving and you want to remove the video automatically when it finishes and then re um, activate player controls and etc i did that in a previous tutorial that was a bit out of the remit of this tutorial but i will leave a link in the description of this of this tutorial for that um, video as well